Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Kat, you had a <laughs> weekend? I apparently, yeah, I had a very <laughs> packed weekend. You yeah. know, um, Jason's out of town for the next few weeks, and uh, and actually everyone's been, like, really sweet. Like, I've had people just reach out to me like, hey, Jason's going to be gone for a while. Like, do you want some company or do you want to, like, go do something? So my dance card was, like, full all week long. Right. Oh, wow. so sweet and so kind. Yeah, no, it's been really nice. And then on Saturday, I got to go to a murder mystery party and like you have like a kit with all the about the characters and you're most people are like a suspect and you're trying to figure out who did it and i haven't done something like that since college it was a ton of fun it was like 50s theme there was a barbecue like yeah it was uh, it was adorable and like doing had a clue, great time. making the movie clue in the game yeah, or a little what bit is? a little bit yeah but like with improv but also like oh. scripted things you have to say okay. and like yeah yeah and whatever like character for that yeah, yeah uh-huh so i was bobby socks the 1958 who Hoop champion. <laughs> oh, right on. There you go. Yeah. Bobby Sox. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was super cute. I got to break out some of my sundresses and oh, like my, cool. my like tool skirts and stuff to like fluff it up a little bit. Oh, so you yeah. do the whole Yeah, you're, everybody you're dressed up. up yeah. Uh, and the oh, character. Right yeah. yeah, it was a really good time. Yeah, Patty right and Andrew are awesome hosts. Yeah, Patty and Andrew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Well, mm-hmm. They know how like, to throw a party. That Absolutely. sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Right on. How about you? It sounds oh, like you've had a, a couple busy weeks and kind of stay busy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did a, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. this weekend, yeah, we started on Friday. Like I was talking before, I was getting a shed. The mm-hmm. owner of the park that I manage and everything got me a shed. This nice big, built like a house type shed, you know, with shelves inside and everything really mm-hmm. nice. But it was eight by 11 and we had to fit it in, boom, where we put it in. So we did that on Friday. And then my other neighbor was helping me. We went down and bought all the material for a, a deck, a 15 foot deck with stairs on both ends that I got, you know, okay. and we built that and with the roof on it and the whole nine yards. Nice. And that's what I did this weekend. And yeah. like I was telling you, I've got to remodel the inside when I get everything, get it out. Then I'll stain the flooring part. I stain the whole rest of the place. Yeah. It looks really yeah. good. But then I'll get pictures out there on Facebook for everybody to oh, see so what cool. we did. But yeah, that's what we were doing all weekend is just working on that thing. And it was really... It's different when I used to do it for a living, you know, and everything like that. I mean, Uh handyman, and I built things and did all that good stuff. And it's different when it's your own. And just like my neighbor, he was having fun with it, too. He designed it and everything for me and got everything all set up. My gym buddies, yeah, and he's also a tenant in the park and everything. Mm-hmm. And so he did all that. So it was a, uh, it was cool, and we both were having fun doing it. And it had been a while for him, and it's, I haven't done that sort of stuff. And shoot, ever since I've started the paper out here, you know, fifteen, sixteen years ago. So, yeah. but uh, yeah, it was cool. It was nice uh, getting back and doing a little physical like that again, a little totally. construction work. Yeah, yeah that's got to feel good. Using tools cause... and all that stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Well, and you get <laughs> to enjoy it when it's done. Too. I do. That's, and that's nice. it. Yeah, it's so funny because I had those stairs going up in there. And, you know, the handle on it, you know, you get on the trailer there, the handle to walk up the steps and everything like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I'm sitting there yesterday screwing in the boards, and now I'm on level, you know, with my door, mm-hmm. which I'm still getting used to. Putting the key in there, it's just weird. Ooh. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, so, yeah, because it used to be from the ground up, now I'm level down below. And okay. it's just, everything is kind of weird. Even Junior was like, looked at me, it was like... Hey, Papa, did we get a new door? And I go, no, we just can see it now. We're just straight on level That's with it now. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah but... <laughs> But the handle was hanging out, and I was sitting there doing it, and I kept hitting it with my shoulder, and I'm like going, "Uh, I don't need this anymore, and I just closed it, and I was like, what do I need that for anymore? Yeah, it was just just little things like that that's like, but yeah, waking up in the morning Mm -hmm. like yesterday and this morning, well, it actually was done all the way complete with the roof on today when I woke up, and it was just really cool. Just sitting there, went outside with my coffee and just kind of looked around and just like, all right, very cool. But I'm not done yet, man. The dog has got a big treat coming too. I got a neat fence for him back there to where the back step goes right off into his little area. Okay. Oh yeah, I've got a game plan going down. And it's funny because I got these new beds, you yeah. know, the ones that are in a box. Mm-hmm. And then you have to let them like sit for like 48 hours or 72 hours to fill up. It depends on how big they are. Mm-hmm. Well, I got an eight inch one for him and a 12 inch one for my bed. Oh yeah, a new mattress. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I want to get them in as fast as possible because I won't be without a bed for a few days. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 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 But it's got to like 
Yeah, they got to... Like inflate? I, <laughs> kind thing. of. Let the air back in them after they've been vacuum sealed I, for transit. Yeah, yeah, I read all about that. Yeah. It's just bizarre, but they're the mm-hmm. biggest thing, and they're like really comfortable, I understand everything, so... Mm-hmm. I, I'm looking forward to that as well. But yeah, yeah. yeah. it had an exciting weekend. And this week will be all the way up to the Blues Fest. I'll be probably just finishing the final touches, but I've got a nice little game plan for the house. So we got room in there, you know, Good. more room. Good yeah. for you. So that's what we did. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I better get on with the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> hope everybody out there had some fun and got out there and did some stuff and built a deck yourself or whatever the heck. But uh, yeah, we better get going on this. Before we go, I'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows here at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your merry way. So we still got some music going on here this next week. Totally. So over at the Elk Valley Casino at the Betty Green Center on the 26th, there's going to be a Jason Aldean tribute show at 8 o'clock. Doors open at 7 And over at the Warriors Bar and Grill on the 26th and 27th at 7 p.m., it's going to be Jesse Mead. Yes, indeed. I I guess I'm going to have to look up this Jason Aldean guy because if they're giving him a tribute, I don't even know who he is. I'm I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm going to have to check it out (laughs) because they're giving him a tribute, so he's got to be somebody. All right. Yeah, and at Cisco, he's finishing up this month on the 27th at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, and he's playing from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then over at the Travel Oregon Welcome Center, events starting there at 2 o'clock on the 27th. It's going to be C.R. Taylor playing acoustic guitar and singing. There you go. And Del Norte County Fair, that's coming up on the 1st. They're going to have Crosspoint on the Pond Stage at 5 p.m. All right. And then the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 27th at Pops at... 7.30. 7.30. Another place I got to find out where that's at. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, PA and T-Roy on the 26th. They're at the Elks Lodge, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And Mr. Lon Goddard is playing on the 24th at Coon Tai from 6 to 8. Yep, and Mike Powell, he'll be finishing up the month on the 26th at Check Co. Brewing Company from 6 to 8. And Disturbing the Peace is playing on the 26th at the Del Norte Golf Course. Music there running from 4 to 7. They'll be Disturbing the Golf Course. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there we go. Hey, in a tech on the 26th, Tequilma will be there at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then on the 27th, they've got the Shark Tones, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. All right. Well, that's it for July music. We'll get into August shortly here. But Checo Library has some events coming up through the month of July. Let's start things off with some weekly events over there. First off, right now they're doing summer reading. This year's summer reading program, Explore Your World, is running through August 15th this year. So in addition to their classic reading challenges for fun prizes, this year's program offers weekly special events on Thursday afternoons at 3 p.m. for youth and families. And again, that's going to be running through the first week of August. You can grab reading challenge cards for both kids and adults at the front desk whenever the library is open. And in other weekly events on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got their story time. That's songs, stories, and simple crafts for young children. Also on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m., they've got a free chair yoga class. Then on Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And then coming up in special events... Every second and fourth Tuesday at 5.30 p.m., so the next one coming up here for listeners is going to be in August, they're having game nights at Checo Brewing Co. So this is an open game night that features games from the Checo Library's board game collection, and it's hosted at Checo Brewing Co. at their location on Railroad Street. You can draw a game from the library or bring one of your favorites. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in your community with plenty of table space to spread out. And kids are welcome, but they must be accompanied by an adult guardian. And actually, Bruce, real cool thing, since we've been promoting this, we had like 30 people last time. Sweet. Like, at board games. Board games. Board games. Board games. Good yeah, so. stuff. Every second and it's and in the inside Tuesday. of Southern Oregon, too. So there we go. They got double the pleasure. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Every second, fourth Tuesday, 530. Awesome. And then, hey, coming up at the end of this month on the 27th at 2 p.m., they have a book club meeting. It's Roll for Reading. This is a fantasy book club. It's geared toward old teens and adults. And this one, because the books are quite long, they meet every other month. And on the 24th at 1 p.m., they have a free art workshop with Tori. You can join volunteer and local artist Tori Bowen for a free hands-on art workshop. Materials are provided, and this workshop is geared toward adult artists and crafters. 
Then on the 25th of July at 3 o'clock, they have a summer reading event, the Watershed Game. You can join Miranda Gray, a water resources specialist, to play the Watershed Board Game and learn more about local ecosystems. Youth and families of all ages are welcome to attend. Also on the 25th at 4 p.m., they have their monthly Lego Club. Lego builders and enthusiasts of all ages are invited to a free open building session in the library's youth section. And then we have a couple of dates for workshops here on the 26th and 27th. From 10 a.m. to noon, they're doing claymation workshops. Teens and adults are invited to join Eric in the library's makerspace to learn the basics of claymation filmmaking. And finally, on July 31st at 3 p.m., they've got their teen summer reading party. So teens and preteens are invited to a casual afternoon of games, crafts, snacks, and music. And all library-led programs and events are free to attend, whether or not you have a library card. For more information, you can visit checkcolibrary.org and check out their calendar. You can follow them on Facebook, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. Yeah, the Lego Club. How's that going? I would. I, oh, it's always packed. You know what? I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna have to bring Junior to that one because yeah. before when we first got all the Legos, we talked about it and everything. Mm-hmm. I got it was I was building after building. We all got mm-hmm. fifty Lego creatures or whatever. So all of a sudden, Junior is like creating his own oh, yeah. creatures. He has taken parts off of this, that, and yeah, and he's got it all together. And he just started doing. He goes, "I am a master builder now, too, Papa." And I'm uh, like, "Yeah, now it's time to bring him to that." Yeah, and yeah. that claymation workshop sounds pretty cool too. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Breaking out the stop motion it. gear and learning about yeah, learning about the basics of that. So we did that in school yeah. back in the day when they offered that class back yeah. in the '60s, '70s. Yeah, yeah, we did a thing where everybody drew on the thing and then they ran it. You know, you just did so many slides and then mm-hmm. they run it and you can see everything and you see yours and it was cool yeah so, yeah so you can make your own gumby episode yeah that's what i'm talking about claymation <laughs> gumby made yeah. that famous mm-hmm. yeah absolutely cool stuff going on at checko library mm-hmm. hey the bigfoot blues fest that's right it's coming up this weekend i'm ready for it here we go <laughs> saturday it's at 10 a.m to 9 p.m and sunday it's 10 a.m to 6 p.m it's blues on the boardwalk local vendors food beer garden live music kids activities blues for everyone and i tell you I got shirts when we did the sky high. Uh, I mean, yeah. when you were dressed up as flags, basically. I saw yeah, the matching yeah, outfits. Yeah, yeah. That was adorable. Outfit. That well, was cute. <laughs> well, now I got us uh, matching Bigfoot blues t-shirts with a Bigfoot on them, you know, yeah. two different styles for each day. Uh-huh. And I got it for me, Junior, and then my lady, uh, Crystal. So we're all going to be uh, matching. <laughs> that is so cute. It'll be fun. It'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I missed it for the Slam and Sam, but next year I'm going to get something for the Slam and Sam. All right. <laughs> Coordination. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> well, hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from columnist writer Pauline Phillips, born July 4th, 1914. She did Dear Abby under Abigail Van Buren. Mm-hmm. So that's the day I'm talking about. She says, the less you talk, the more you listen to. And if you want your children to turn out well, spend twice as much time with them and half as much money. Yeah, yeah that's true. If we could sell our experiences for what they cost us, we'd all be millionaires. True. True that one. People who fight fire with fire usually end up with ashes. Mm. (laughs) That went appropriate on that one. (laughs) Hope you enjoy this week's quotes from, hey, Abigail Van Buren. Yeah, with Cousin Bruce. Till next week. Have a great one. Yeah, that was like part of my routine. Like whenever I was a kid, I'd read the comics, then I'd read Dear Abby. Yes. Yeah, when we still had newspapers like twice a week here. So, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I remember reading it when I was a kid and all the way up. Yeah. I missed that. Yeah. Oh, well. And and Landers was her sister in Mm -hmm. real life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Always enjoyed that advice. Uh Yeah. Well, the South Coast Humane Society, it's coming up, is presenting Furball 2024 at the Brookings Elks Lodge. This is going to be on the 27th from 5 to 10 p.m. It's got dinner, cocktails, dancing, a costume contest, as well as a live auction, a silent auction, and much more. Now, they are noting they are currently saying they're sold out on all their copy, but they're encouraging people to check in as it nears because they do get cancellations from time to time. So for information and to check on those cancellations, you can call 760-521-3200. Yes, indeed. That does happen. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I can attest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it worked on you guys' the last mm-hmm. one, too, didn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, now we're sliding into some August stuff going on. Every Child Curry is having a charity golf tournament at Salmon Run Golf Course. This is going to be on the 3rd of August. Shotgun at 9 a.m. Net proceeds supports the ongoing work of Every Child Curry County. 
It's 125 per player non-member and then 75 per player for members. So there you go. Hey, it pays. Yeah, there you go. All right. Discounts on charity. All right. (laughs) And then Coastal Farm and Ranch is presenting Challenge of Champions Tour. This is Broncos, Bulls, and Barrows Rodeo happening at the Del Nor Fair and Event Center in Crescent City. This is going to be on the 3rd of August at 4 p.m. Everything you expect from a rodeo, plus an after party at 7 p.m. featuring the band Moonshine Crazy. And for information about that event, you can call 707-464-9556. I just love the names of these bands sometimes they come out. Moonshine Crazy. <laughs> that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Hey, we got a tap takeover at Inateca. This is happening on the 9th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. This is a fundraiser and raffle to benefit for four-year-old Waylon and his battle with Ewing sarcoma cancer. Now, this is featuring live music by Black GTO. Right. Yeah, good cause there going on. Yeah. And the Pistol River Concert Association is presenting The Quitters at the Pistol River Friendship There's Club. another name. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. At 24252 Carpenterville Road in Pistol River. And this is happening on the 10th of August from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And Stevie Coyle and Glenn make up a guitar duo, The Quitters, having each quit some of the best bands in the business. Now they have joined forces to become a right-handed, right-side-up finger-picking and left-handed, upside-down flat-picking twosome. Mostly acoustic, some electric, much serendipity is what they say. (laughs) There you go. There you go. Yeah, hey, the Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Petty Rocks. This is the tribute to Tom Petty. Happening on the 10th at 8 p.m., Petty Rocks is a Northern California-based tribute to the music of Tom Petty. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show begins at 8 at the Tolawa Event Center. Tickets are online or at the door. Must be 21 years or older to attend this event. It's one of those. Mm -hmm. And then Suds on the Coast is hosting a community conversation about substance use disorder, opiates, and our resources. This is happening on the 15th of August from 5.30 to 7.30, and that's going to be at the Curry Library up in Gold Beach. And the topics for discussion that night are going to be overdoses in the community, youth substance abuse, substance use among the unhoused population. So I guess more information about that, you can get in touch with the Curry Public Library up in Gold Beach. Yep, that'll be it. Family Resource Center in Crescent City is presenting a youth and family fair. This is going to be happening at Beachfront Park on the 17th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can join them for a fun afternoon with children's crafts, activities, health snacks, and community resources. For information on this, you can call 707-464-0955, extension 2112. And now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that an entire town in Nevada during the late 1800s basically invented the concept of the Wild West? It's true, and here's the story. The town of Palisade, Nevada, like many other Wild West towns of the time, was actually very peaceful and had so few crimes that it didn't even have an official sheriff. But the town decided to make things seem more exciting there after the Transcontinental Railroad opened in 1869 and passed through Palisades. And as the story goes, a train conductor mentioned that railroad passengers were often disappointed at how these quiet towns were so different from how they were portrayed in Western dime novels. So the people of Palisades decided they would stage Western-style shootouts in the street. Bank robberies, you name it. Everyone was in on it, even the U.S. Cavalry and local Native American tribes, who would stage battles against each other for the entertainment of the passing railroad travelers. Maybe it was a way to drum up more tourism, or maybe it was just so people of Palisade could have a good laugh at the city folk. Hmm. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's bit of weird history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. So is it safe to say that you found a uh, a suitable yeah, sound was, effect for your? <laughs> I'm still I'm, I'm still annoyed with this one. I'm going to okay. get another one because I want that da da I want that drum roll. Oh, I gotta find sure. that drum roll. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Or well, I'll come in with a bigfoot one next week. <laughs> it's a constant journey towards perfection. <laughs> We're constantly right. seeking it. <laughs> That's right. If you're oh, not happy with it, get another one. That's oh, right. Man.
All right. Well, coming up here is the fourth annual REMAX Coast and Country Charity Classic for Caitlin's Cause. REMAX, in collaboration with Caitlin's Cause, a local nonprofit organization and 501c3 charity that works closely with Dornbecker Children's Hospital to provide gifts for children facing illnesses, cordially invites you to join them at the Salmon Run Golf Course for the fourth annual REMAX Coast and Country Charity Classic for Caitlin's Cause. The event will take place on August 23rd, 24th, and 25th at Salmon Run Golf Course. The tournament will follow a best ball format where two-person teams will participate, all with the aim of raising funds for Caitlin's cause. The practice round will be held on August 25th, setting the stage for a wonderful event. If you wish to be a part of this meaningful occasion by either participating in the tournament or by contributing a donation, you can visit their website at kccharityclassic.com. Yeah. Hey, there's Port Orford a Jubilee A Car Show is going on at 423 11th Street. This is happening on the 31st of August, so towards the end there. Well, actually, the end. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., there will be food trucks, vendors, music, silent auction, fundraiser, car and vendor registration. You can go to portorfordjubilee.org. This fundraiser benefits next year's 4th of July. For information, you can call 541 391 Two one three zero. Yeah, I had to look at that twice to make sure, but yeah, oh, sure. It's for next fourth. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. just like our love, our fourth. We've got sure. Yeah, right. the the fundraising happens all year, all year round for that yes, one. Indeed. Yeah, mm-hmm. so there you go. It's a big to do. But a car show anywhere, I gotta give it the love. Oh, that's totally. for sure. All right. <laughs> Very nice. Well, the Curry Public Library up in Gold Beach is presenting Memory Cafe Curry. This is a monthly event that meets the third Wednesday of every month from 1030 to noon. And again, that's at the Curry Library in Gold Beach. To register for this program, you can send an email to memorycafe at cplib.net, or you can call 541-247-7246. And a Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Partners. Care partners may include, but are not limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in a similar situation. Memory Cafe Curry is staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. Yes, indeed. Hey, and then KCIW Soapbox Series. That's right. It's going on still. Uh, KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules. There's no cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind, whether it's positive, negative, or sideways. It don't matter. Just get on and Say what you got to say. There you go. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record. So there you go. Yeah. All right. And as usual, there's game nights happening at the Whimsical Griffin. That's at 615 Checo Avenue near the Redwood Theater. These game nights take place Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 to 9 p.m. And they feature Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and board games. That's right. And hey, we've got this updated here on Meals on Wheels. Hey, volunteers are needed. Hey, if you'd like to do something that will make you and those you help very happy, If you'd like to do something to help give back to the community you love, hey, if you would like to help out your fellow human beings, then Meals on Wheels are looking for you. Hey, by delivering a hot meal to those who are home ridden, you not only help someone who is hungry, but you also bring a bit of kindness into their lives. A friendly face for them to see every day and social contact they may not have otherwise. Now, there are three routes that deliver hot meals to about 60 seniors on a daily basis. Each route takes about one and a half hours. You can volunteer by the day, the week, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, even if it is just one day a week, one day a month, whatever works for you. Every little bit helps. Hey, if you're interested in helping in this great cause for the community, you can contact Meals on Wheels coordinator Debbie at 714-423-9797. There you go. Her name was so easy before the last name. Now I'm, <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like, now I'm just calling her Debbie now. All right. All right. <laughs> well, we've got another PSA here from the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America. Mm-hmm. They're Constantly scouting for new troop members and boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade 
to age 17, adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and are willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall from 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except for holidays. They invite you to meet the troops and learn more about what scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. And if you need to get in touch, Troop 32 Scoutmaster Mark Haglin can be reached at 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson can be reached at 707-951-3647. Yeah, and hey, Fog and Fine Art Gallery, located in Wright's Customer Framing and Art Supply, located at 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings. The gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. It's open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and then 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. And for more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541-469-7900 or visit them on Facebook at Wright's Custom Framing. All right. And one last one here. Brookings yep. MS Self-Help Support Group is regularly meeting. It features conversation and support for people living with MS, multiple sclerosis. You can join others living with MS to talk, share experiences of successfully living and coping daily with MS. You can share information and resources in a positive atmosphere. And topics focus on areas of interest to group members. This group is for people with MS as well as family, friends, and caregivers. They ask that you reach out prior to attending by sending an email to AudreyMS18 at AOL.com. Um, but you can also find them and send them a message on Facebook. Their group is called MS Walk and Rollers. Meetings happen on the second Tuesday of every month at 11 a.m. at the Checo Library Annex Building. That's the little house across the street from the main library at 402 Alder Street in Brookings. Yes, indeed. Well, that's it. It's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also listen to the Fantastic Show podcast, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And while you're there, hey, you can check out the live streaming as well. Until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. Hey, please support local businesses. Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. Hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out there. there. Bam! Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.